It's the city department charged with caring for stray animals and keeping the public safe. But employees say Albuquerque's animal welfare department suffers from dysfunction, low morale, and ineffective leadership. And as News 13's Gabrielle Burkhardt explains, the city's inspector general investigation supports those claims. That's tonight's special assignment. We received a number of complaints. Albuquerque Inspector General David Harper says when employees at the city's Animal Welfare Department voiced concerns about issues in their department, his office launched an investigation. Now, two months later, the IG report is complete. Listening to the different people that came and spoke to us, that's still a concern that they have that public safety is not the number one priority in the office. The report points to a problem News 13 told you about on special assignment back in April. The city violated its own dangerous dog law when an animal welfare employee's dog jumped a wall and killed a neighbor's chihuahua. Angel's Law states the city must take custody of a dog who kills a person or a pet, but staff allowed the dangerous dog to return home. After our story aired about Aurora, the IG report states Animal Welfare's director agreed a refresher course on Angel's Law would be a good idea, but the inspector says he learned that training never happened. That's very concerning. Um, obviously, you know, every day is a potential for something bad to happen. The report also points to examples of the city adopting out dangerous dogs, something animal welfare has come under fire for in the past. In one example, animal welfare's director Paul Castor goes against staff recommendations after a dog went on the attack during a pit bull training class. The dog bit down on another dog's head and bit its owner. Staff felt the dog was unadoptable, but Castor disagreed, saying the bite was, quote, displaced aggression. The dog was later adopted by a volunteer. This topic of releasing dangerous dogs into the community was also the subject of a 2015 OIG investigation. We look at where they are today. There have been some improvements, um, but as our report discloses, there are still opportunities to improve. AWD staff worry about dysfunction, low morale, and ineffective leadership. Still, Castor says public safety is AWD's primary objective and claims he hosts monthly open forums for staff and volunteers to have open discussions. But this report proves not everyone feels heard. And I think uh, leadership of any organization needs to be concerned because low morale can lead to safety issues, performance issues, etc. On special assignment, Gabrielle Burkhart, KRQE News 13. Animal Welfare directed us to the mayor's office for comment tonight. Chief Operations Officer Michael Reardon told us in part AWD has already addressed needed revisions in their policies and procedures and remains dedicated to maintaining a safe and effective department. You can read the city's full statement and the full OIG report on our KRQE News app.